Hey guys, Vinyl Vixen here at Rap Sesh. Uh, check in with us this week and see what we got going on. Tons of cool stuff. Uh, we're about to do this Can-Am right here in the custom matte uh, snow camo print. If you remember, I showed you guys that a little while back. So we're gonna start with this one, custom build from Ride Now. So we've got this F-250, which was originally white. Um, and we went down in the Avery Denison uh, matte metallic gun metal. So this was a full door jam. We had all these doors off a couple days ago. He still has to wrap these, the whole interior piece. The way we did these jams, if you see right here, there is actually a body line. So it made it really easy. You didn't have to try to like one piece these. So he did this in a section, he did this in a section, and then that back area in a section, right where that body line is. So it made it really easy to do them. These are gonna be a little bit harder to do. <laughs> if you wanna see the other door jam truck that me and Michael are working on, this one I uh, called the Demon Child. Uh, it's going down in the 3M matte red. Full door jam color change. So you see we've got the doors off right now. I get a lot of questions on how we do door jams. It's not something that shops do very often. The way normally we do them is like a one piece door jam. With this particular one, the height of it is over 60 inches and the length is also over 60 inches. So we're kind of limited on what we can do. So the way we're actually gonna do it is we're gonna do a, um, just a nice small quarter inch seam off the body line right up here. So this whole bottom rocker that's black is gonna be one piece and then this whole top thing will be one entire piece and we cut out all these hinges and everything like that. So uh, yeah, and then right here, if you see this uh, door interior that Michael just did, we're gonna show you guys how we tackle these because they're really freaking hard. <laughs> really, really hard stuff. So uh, yeah, hang tight. I just cut a shipment in from uh, Excel Blades. I've never really used their stuff, so I was really excited to try it out for some really good precision knives. Double head precision knife, really cool. So it's got these adjustable little spots right here so you can widen it. Um, I think the main use for this knife is for perf. If you're trying to cut a clean line of perf out or something, you can, you can make a nice line. But also, it's really, really good if you wanna make like pinstripes. There we go. See, so it makes really nice clean line. You need to make some pins. This little guy right here. All right, so uh, door interior panels. Let's talk about these. These are like the hardest part when you do door jams in my opinion. Um, so we're gonna actually be doing these ones in two piece. Occasionally we do them in one piece. It depends on the door. Um, with these trucks, specifically this one, it's got this body line right here, if you come look up close, all the way up the line of the door. So we're just gonna seam it there um, and make it easy on ourselves, but this right here is all one piece. If you see, we pre-stretched it real nice and around. So then what we're gonna do is get three people, grab our panel and our IR heater, 
and then uh, pre-stretch it real nice and hit this hard angle first and then we're gonna seam it right here and we should be good to go with that. If you guys aren't comfortable doing like a crazy pre-stretch or you don't have enough hands or anything like that, there is other ways you could go about this door. It really just depends on the model that you're doing in the truck and the angles and everything. So you wanna work, you know, and do what's best for the material. But another way you could actually do this is go along this body line right here, which is where the hardest angle is, the hardest recess. And you could actually hide like a quarter inch seam around this entire door if you see it continues. You could hide a seam right there um, if you weren't comfortable with all the stretching. So that's something to keep in mind too. There's multiple ways to do it. So as long as you get the right end product, that's what matters. Yeah, there's a seal that goes, there's a seal that covers all these little holes all the way around. So you could seam it there and it would be totally, it would look seamless. So that's another option. Alright, so if you guys liked our videos this week, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you like the Rap Sesh vibe. And uh, stay tuned, next week we're going to be doing more door jams. We've got can-ams, we've got fleet, we've got really everything. So uh, kick it with Rap Sesh.